Hey all, we are taking a look at the different salivary glands. Salivary glands are accessory glands of the digestive system. They are exocrine glands, meaning they secrete stuff, fluids, into a tract, in this case our oral cavity, um, for the purposes of digestion. Uh, there are two types of secretions, salivary secretions, that our salivary glands can secrete. They can be uh, either serous fluids, which are more watery and contain lots of enzymes, or they can be mucus uh, fluids, mucus secretions, and mucus is thicker and stickier, uh, which is good for lubrication. Both uh, are found in the saliva, um, and both are merocrine secretions, meaning M-E-R-O-C-R-I-N-E, -E, merocrine, meaning um, they release, are released by exocytosis from the cells. So on this slide, we're going to see groupings of either serous cells, mucous cells, or both, as well as ducts. Uh, ducts tend to be simple cuboidal or even stratified cuboidal, so two layers, uh, sending the saliva to the, in this case, oral cavity. All right, there are three salivary glands. We're at 40X right now. This is one of them. We see a organization of a bunch of cells. We see ducts here and there. You can see the ducts here. But let's take a closer look. This is 40X. <clears throat> this is one, 100X. This is 400X. Um, if you've seen the pancreas before, this kind of looks like the pancreas in that you've got lots of clusters of cells that form little circles. And they're called a similar thing. These are asini. Like right here, what I'm pointing at is a tight grouping of circles, a tight circular grouping of cells called asini. They are simple cuboidal and they secrete some kind of mucus, excuse me, some kind of sal saliva. Um, in between all this lighter stuff, that's adipose. You can see the large cells. We're going to ignore that for now because that's not special to the salivary glands. But um, these, these asini are, they are dark colored. These asini are dark colored. And if something is darker colored from the salivary gland, this is going to be a serous secretion. It's going to be more watery. And looking around, I see lots of fat, sure. Um, you see ducts, like these ones with larger lumens are ducts, uh, but that's really it. I see adipose, serous asini, serous asini, and ducts, and blood vessels, of course. But I don't see, there's a nice duct here, I don't see any other types of asini. If you see predominantly serous asini, we're in the parotid gland. This is the parotid gland. The parotid gland are just superficial to the masseters, so they're on the lateral side of your face. They are the largest of your salivary glands. They secrete uh, watery, serous saliva. <clears throat> the next one that I have here is going to look a bit different. Uh, interspersed, we're at 40X. Interspersed, there's muscle and fat. Uh, we're going to pay attention to the asini here, those round structures. So that's 40X. Uh, 100x, x So the outside of these asini, these circular asini, are dark, but the insides are light. So these cells are very light colored. We've seen this in other places, like in, with goblet cells, and goblet cells produce mucus. These are mucus cells. Goblet cells are called goblet cells. They're separated. They're more individual. These mucus cells always come in clusters. That's the biggest differences for our purposes. The, these uh, <laughs> little dust. These uh, um, mucus cells come in clusters. That's what differentiates them from goblet cells. Where you can find predominantly mucus cells and no serous cells, or not as many at least. Uh, this is the sublingual. Uh, this is muscle. This is the sublingual um, salivary gland. Sublingual, as the name implies, is found underneath the tongue. Sublingual releases mucus. 
saliva for lubrication. We have one more salivary gland, and it's called the submandibular because it's below the mandible. Sublingual is a little more anterior. Submandibular is a little bit posterior, kind of by the ramus, the bend of your, uh, of your mandible. We're at 40x, and hopefully right now you can already tell some are lighter where the arrow is, some are a bit darker. We have a mix of serous and mucus. Serous is darker, mucus is lighter. There is fat too, the, the really light colored ones, are, those are adipose, adipocytes, and then the, these ones here are ducts. But where you see clusters of cells, those are acini. Where the arrow is right now, that's a serous acinus, where these are serous acini. Here's a duct. That's a good mucus one. Oh, these are great mucus ones. Mucus acini, mucus acini, mucus acini. Again, the ducts are primarily simple cuboidal, sometimes simple columnar, and even stratified. But they're never, they're never squamous. And they're always these right round clusters of cells. Serous acini are darker, and then where's a good mucus one again? Oh, while I'm here, sometimes I said that sometimes the um, ducts are stratified. You can see one layer of cells here. Here's a second layer. Whenever, whenever cuboidal or columnar is stratified, it's usually only two or three layers. It's never more. Uh, we only see that with for, for squamous. <clears throat> um, I want to show you mucus one more time. Oh, here we go. Mucus, that's a great one right here. A few more mucus. Mucus right there, too. All right. Those are our salivary glands, parotid, submandibular, and sublingual. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.